Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on an open Lightspeed web server. If you missed my other video about how to set up an open Lightspeed web server, check that out first. But if you have an open Lightspeed web server that you're ready to go with, then let's get right on into the tutorial here. Okay, so I have my website running at site1.xyz, and this is where we're going to be installing WordPress. Right now it's just an HTML page that we're serving up. So what we want to do is log into our server via SSH, which I have done, I have done here already. And uh, what we want to do is go into the MySQL command prompt, which in this case it's uh, Maria database. Um, so first let's create our database. And this is our WordPress database. Um, it's going to be called WordPress. So we'll do that. And by the way, all these commands will be linked down below for you guys. So you don't have to type them out. We'll create a user called WordPress user at localhost identified by this password. And then we will take that user and grant all privileges to the WordPress database, all tables to, to him as long as he's on localhost. So we'll execute that. And finally, we can flush the privileges to apply those changes and get on out of the MySQL command prompt. Now, the next thing we want to do is to get the WordPress source code. It's open source. So we'll go ahead and do that in um, the CD user local local LSWS directory. And in here is where you see all of your, amongst other things, virtual hosts. We just have one at this point example. That's what we're going to be putting it. So go into the example directory or whatever directory you're going to put this in. And in here, uh, let's go ahead and get the WordPress source code. So we can do that with wget um, https colon slash slash wordpress.org slash latest dot tar dot gz. So we'll do that. And within a couple seconds, we'll have that on our web server. Let's unpack this with tar dash xz or xzvf, order doesn't matter. And then latest dot tar dot gz. Um, that'll create a WordPress directory. We are now done with the tar file, so we can go ahead and remove that. And we'll just, like I said, the, in, inside the HTML directory, we do have that um, index file here, which we're looking at um, before, which we were saw, seeing the hello world. Uh, but we're going to be working with the WordPress directory here uh, from here on out. So um, let's go ahead and just, just to be sure, I know this is like a, a good practice. Um, inside the WordPress directory, let's find all directories and change the permissions to 750 for that. And then we'll do the same thing for all the files, except the permissions for that will be 640. And that's just a security thing here. Okay, so that's all good to go on our server. Let's go ahead into the Open Lightspeed admin dashboard and configure some things here. So um, if you're not familiar, you can come to your IP address, your domain name, and then do colon 7080 to access that. And you might get this, your connection is not private, which is okay. You can proceed to your admin dashboard. I'm gonna log in here with my username and password. Okay, and in here, you can do a lot of stuff, um, but this is in place of editing manually configuration files and stuff like that. So the first thing I wanna do is to go to our virtual hosts and um, we're going to look at our only virtual host at this point, which is the example one. And we're going to view that. And in here, uh, we're going to go to the general tab and we're going to change our document root, right? So we saw the HTML directory. We're going to change that to WordPress instead. And we're going to put our domain name in here. So that's site1.xyz and our alias www.site1.xyz. And everything else looks good here. So we'll save that. Next thing I wanna do is change the index file. Um, I just know for a fact, and I can show you that the index file for WordPress is a PHP file. So we'll change that to index.php. You can actually have multiple here. You can do index.html, but um, we just, just for the sake of completeness, uh, we'll just do index.php here. And um, that looks good. So we'll save that. And then there's one other change I think that we have to make in here, which is in the rewrite section up top. And we want to 
enable rewrite, yes, and auto load from .ht access, yes. So we'll save that. And now the last thing we wanna do is to come into our listeners up here um, and change the, uh, well, not change, but add the domain name for our example virtual host. So um, instead of star, we'll just, just to be explicit about it, we'll do site1.xyz. Okay, so now let's go ahead and <clears throat> as it says up here, configuration has been modified to apply ch changes. Please perform a graceful restart. So let's go ahead and do that. Yes, that looks good. And um, in a new tab, we'll go to site1.xyz and we should see the WordPress installation happen, which we do. So we'll go ahead and quickly go through this. Um, yes, we have all this information. So let's go ahead and enter that in. The database name is WordPress. The username was WordPress user. The password, I have to copy that because I don't, I'm not gonna remember what that is. This with an exclamation point. The host is localhost and that's fine. You can change this or you can keep it for the table prefix WP underscore. Um, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and submit that. And we got a thumbs up. All right, Sparky, you've made it through this part of the installation. WordPress can now communicate with your database. So let's go ahead and do the actual installer. We'll name this site uh, just based on the domain name site one. Username, Tony, password, that's fine for now. And my email, Tony at TonyTeaches.tech. Okay, so we'll go ahead and install WordPress. And that looks like it's successful. So we can log in with my username, Tony, password that I copied onto the clipboard. And whoops, Tony, password with the exclamation point. Um, and then we can do that. Uh oh, did I, did I forget how I, uh, I wrote that? Did I do Tony? I think I did Tony. Let's try the email address. Tony at TonyTeaches.tech and then the password. There we go, okay. A little confused there, but now we have our WordPress admin dashboard. I have a ton of videos on this um, this channel about how to configure this and all that stuff. But if you go to uh, the homepage here, this is what you see. The default installation looks like the 2020 theme. So if you want to learn how to install an SSL certificate on your WordPress website or another website with um, open light speed, then check out this video here. And if you want to learn how to install multiple websites at once on Open Lightspeed, check out this video here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.